Hi everybody, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reacting to part of the Lion Pride, Dean Schneider living with lions. This was requested by Amir MB. Thank you so much for all your support. You're always commenting on my videos and um, you've been here since like the beginning. I think you came from GFAM, so thank you so much. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So today I want to take you guys a little bit closer into the life of lions. Alright, a lot of people keep on asking me how how did I manage to become part of a lion pride? Like, how can I be so close with them at all situations? Oh Today we want to go a little bit more into detail. What does this mean? In the world of lions, 90% is body language. And only 10% is communication through vocalism or how do you, however you call it, like through certain sounds they make, like growls or calls or something like that. But every movement of his head of his paws combined with the tail of my eyes where do they look do i move backwards or to the front when they approach me all this is constant communication guys and if you're not aware of what they are telling you if you can't understand them or don't see it that's where the real struggle starts and that's where it gets dangerous this is the moment where dexter shows oh the girls my. listen it's over oh. look there <laughs> He's not ready to play any games anymore. And there is a huge difference between being respected and accepted by a lion in his environment or being part of his family, being actual part of his pride. Now, I didn't teach them any language. They don't speak my language. I actually like, came here and learned their language. That's why I have to communicate as a lion in their language. It's not they're not trained. They, if I would tell Dexter to sit down or get up or go there, he would look at me and think like, what the hell are you talking about? I'm the king here, I'm making the rules, and I'm cool with that. They are making the rules, and I follow their rules. Once I enter that lion area here, so this is lion property here, come with me. I have to leave all my human behaviors, my human thinking, and everything what's human about me out there. Because in here, I have to be a lion. I have to think like a lion, Scary. I have to you act like a lion in every single situation. This is Nyla. She's the first one to dig into an animal, to do her job, and she's amazing in it. This is why she's so bloody. It's part of socializing within a lion pride, because they lick each other to clean each other as well. Now, unfortunately, I can't lick, so I'm imitating with my hands uh. to take the blood off her and get her clean again. Look how she's enjoying it. Jesus. That guy has some. And this is the only way to guts. be respected, accepted, and wanted in a lion pride. Oh, Jesus. Now let's talk about respect. Now respect is essential in a lion pride, all day long, 24-7. But what does it mean? Respect means to give each other the privacy and the space they need. You often uh, can see that lions why? lay on top of one another, they love affection and to cuddle, but there is also those moments when, when they don't like it or they just don't feel like it. And in those moments, they will let you know straight away. And if they let you know and you step away and respect that, then you're cool at all times. But once you don't, once you don't follow the rules and you stop respecting or overdo it by dominating one another, what happens then? No matter if it's between the lions, between males and females, or in my case, even between me and them. Don't overdo it. Leave it. Yeah, so these are the situation. <laughs> if she does it again, she'll get it again. He said leave it. <laughs> she can't enter my world, like my privacy, and just take over everything. 
And that's the same thing she does with the other ones. That's why she's the one with the most scars in the face. Oh, Jesus. Now, usually they start to communicate in such situations straight away through body language. Certain movements which will show you, uh uh, step away, I don't want that. Now, if you can't see that or don't respect that, they'll start getting vocal. So they'll growl or just do certain sounds which symbolizes, listen, attention, you're about to cross that line now. If you still continue and if you like still keep on, on bothering them, that's where they're gonna slap you, claw you, bite you, or just do something which seriously hurts you on purpose because you didn't listen to them. That's a warning. That's more warning. You see that? That's like I told you twice, I told you three times. Ah. One more time and I'll fuck you up. Unfortunately, they can't find you. They are their own police. If something hurts or bothers you, you straight away tell them. And it's absolutely oh, no scared. difference if it's between them, lion and lion, or between me and them. For you guys, you see a human within a lion pride but they see just their family, their line pride. So even in such situations, I have to react the same way. When they start using their claws on me, don't use your claws, ah, claws, ah, 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 ah. There's hundreds of different types of using claws on me. There's some times where they use their back claws and I exactly know that they don't have full control over their back claws. So usually if they scratch me like this, I just leave it because I know mostly or most probably he didn't do it on purpose. Ah, 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 ah. Don't think about this. Go there and do that with Dexter. <laughs> um, ow, ow. Ow. Ah, ah. Ew. Okay, this just happened right now, but that was not on purpose. That's just a reaction reflex thing. That's why it's okay. But if one of them uses their front claws every now and then again on me and I tell them, ah, uh ah, -uh, leave it, no, and they continue, that's where they want to see, okay, who's dominating whom. And the only thing I can do is use my knuckles, give them a smack, whether it's on the nose when they biting too hard or it's on the paws when they're clawing too hard or something like that. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Close. Leave it. And the same thing is between Jesus. lines. Also most of the time, well that's how I do it, they most of the time go full on into it. I'll just quickly tap on the paws or on the nose so that they know okay now I really crossed the line already and if I don't stop now that tap is gonna get worse and worse and it's gonna start to hurt so I can imagine in that situation now that some of you guys must be asking yourself <laughs> how the hell is Dean's camera guy Noe being able to be so close to them as well and get the craziest shots with Dean and the lions now, it's a simple answer. He's part of the Lion Pride as well. He was here, he moved basically with me to South Africa two years ago, and this is how he became part of the Lion Pride as well. Of course, everybody has its own special relationship with the lines, even in between the lines as well as me and Noe with the lines. So Noe has to make sure, since he's behind the camera, to keep the distance to make sure to, to have the lines in front of the camera. But that doesn't mean that he has to every now and then create his respect as well. Oh, they Jesus. also go for him, they also oh jump on him, they also Jesus. use their claws on him. Now one last thing, please guys don't think just because you're patient or willing to be patient and you love lines a lot and are ready to show and receive respect that you can just jump out in Krugel National Park and walk up to some uh, uh, lion prides and bond with them. Oh, That's geez. not gonna work. I know them since they are small. We grew up together. This is a relationship built over two years of time, intensive work every single day. When it's raining, when it's getting bloody, when it's hot when it's night when it's day you can't build that just like that or say ah oh, i'll live according to those values and i'm ready to do that okay so let me walk in there it won't work <laughs> not with the lions in Kruger no, national so park not and not with dexter in the park
Sorry, so he's known them for since since they were small. Which makes now more these sense. are the three <laughs> fundamental things which are needed for me to become or to be now finally part of a lion tribe. Of course, there is another hundreds, if not thousands, of details I could talk about, but let's talk about that another time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see what's next, then make <laughs> sure to subscribe. That's pretty cool. So that was Dean Schneider, part of the Lion Pride. Um, I guess he kind of just was talking about how he like bonds with the lions and how he came about being a member of a pride, which is crazy but it makes more sense now that he knew them since they were like little and so so now he's it, he's able to like be with them all the time and stuff but still i mean that must be like terrifying because <laughs> i mean they're lions but it's yeah it's crazy um i'll definitely be doing more of dean um let me know if you guys have any videos that you would like me to see specifically um and I love animals, so if you guys have any other animal videos, let me know. And thank you so much again, Amir, for requesting this one. And uh, don't forget to leave a like if you liked this video. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified of my other videos. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys next time.